tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this impeachment proceeding? Yes, I will. So help you, God. Proceed. Madam Secretary, would you please state your full name, your address, and your present occupation? Magandang hapon po. Ako po si Lila De Lima. Ako po yung kalihim ng katarungan. I At, think uh, we can take judicial notice of that, the facts about the circumstances of our witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. President. The testimony of this witness is offered to prove the partiality of the defendant as Chief Justice and as a member of the Supreme Court. One, in the grant of a temporary restraining order in favor of former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo and her husband, Jose Miguel Arroyo, in the consolidated cases of Gloria Macapagal Arroyo versus Honorable Laila de Lima, in her capacity as Secretary of the Department of Justice, and Ricardo A. David Jr. in his capacity as Commissioner of the Bureau of Immigration, GR number 199034, and Jose Miguel T. Arroyo versus Honorable Laila M. De Lima in her capacity as Secretary of the Department of Justice, Ricardo Paras III in his capacity as Chief State Counsel of the Department of Justice, and Ricardo A. David Jr. in his capacity as Commissioner of the Bureau of Immigration, GR number 199046 in order to give them an opportunity to escape prosecution and to frustrate the ends of justice and two in distorting the Supreme Court decision on the effectivity of the TRO in spite of the clear failure by the petitioners in these two cases to comply with all the conditions of the TRO. So proceed, Council. Ginang Kalihem, kailan pa po kayo nanungkulan sa inyong pagiging Kalihem ng kagawaran ng katarungan? Naitalaga po ako sa posisyon na ito noong July 1, 2010. Bilang Secretary of Justice, Mangyari po bang sabihin niyo sa kagalagalan ng humang ito ang mga mahalaga ninyong tungkulin? Opo. Ang karamihan po ng mga katungkulan ng uh, kalihim ng katarungan ay nakasaad sa Revised Administrative Code. Marami po yan, pero yung mga maitatawag po natin na parang core mandates or core functions ng kalihim ng uh, katarungan ay yung uh, investigasyon, ng mga krimen at uh, prosecution ng mga criminal offenders at meron din po kami provision on um, the regulatory immigration services at kaya nga po sa ilalim ng uh, Department of Justice ay several po yung mga attached agencies na nandyan nga po yung uh, Bureau of Immigration at uh, even yung, well, the National Prosecution Service po ay sakop ng uh, ng uh, Department of Justice. At isa pa kong uh, uh, function or uh, authority ng Secretary of Justice ay yung pag-i-issue po ng mga tinatawag na hold departure orders and watch list orders ayon sa isang circular. Ito pong nabanggitin yung tungkulin ninyo sa pagpapalabas ng tinatawag na whole departure orders, watch list orders. Ano po ba ang batayan ng inyong tungkulin na ito? Nandyan po yan sa Department Circular Number 41, which was issued around May 25, 2010. At bago po yung Department Circular Number 41, ay meron pa kong mga nauna pa na mga circular 17. Circular 17, if I'm not mistaken po, it was issued sometime in... Uh, Uh, 
1999 or 1997, and then yung pangalawa, yung isa pa po ay yung circular number 18 in 2007. Yung circular number 41 po ay parang kinonsolidate lang po yung mga dati ng mga regulasyon ukol sa pag-i-issue ng tinatawag na whole department departure orders, HDOs, and watch list orders, uh, WLOs. Uh, sino po ba ang kalihin ng katarungan nung ilinabas itong nabanggitin yung Department Circular Number 41? Yan po ay pinalabas nung aking predecessor, acting Secretary Alberto Agra, kasi bago po yan ako naging kalihin. Yung po eh, noong kapanahonan, nung dating Pangulo, Opo, Gloria that was, sinabi ko po kanina, yung circular was issued May 25, 2010, bago ho nag-assume officially sa katungkulan si Presidente Benigno S. Aquino III. So bago rin po ako naging kalihim. Uh, Mr. President, request permission to approach the witness to identify uh, an exhibit. You may approach the witness, no problem.